Welcome to another Video Marketing Minute. I'm Eric Kalis, Chief Marketing Officer for Square2 Marketing. You might have heard a lot of buzz in the marketplace how old SEO doesn't work anymore and how people are getting found in completely different ways and Google's changing all the rules. You know what? That buzz is right. The rules are different and people are scrambling to change the way they get found on the internet. In today's Video Marketing Minute, I'm going to give you some easy ways that your company can leverage landing pages to get found. So what's a landing page? A landing page is an interior page of your website that has one specific purpose, to convert website visitors into either marketing or sales leads. So how do you create these landing pages? Well, it's a single page that you would create that you would put some content on there that would hopefully get someone to say, yes, I would like to give you my information in exchange for something. Now, what kinds of landing pages do you need? Well, you need one for every vertical. If you sell to life sciences and biotech, you need one for each one because you want to make people feel safe when they get there. Also, you can optimize each one of those pages for the phrase that people might be searching. Consulting for biotech companies would be a different search than consulting for healthcare companies. So you want to make sure that it's very targeted. Also, you need different landing pages for your persona. Maybe you're an engineering firm and sometimes you speak with other engineers, but sometimes you have to speak with the purchasing department. Well, because the conversation is completely different with the purchasing agent as it is with the engineering firm, you have to have two specific pages to make each one of those personas feel comfortable. And then finally, you might have different geographies. Italian restaurant Philadelphia might be optimized as well as Italian restaurant Atlantic City, New Jersey. And those two people that are searching are searching for two different things. Let's give them what they're looking for. So now that we have all of these landing pages, you're thinking to yourself, man, that's a real pain in the butt. And you know what, you're right. But if you take the time to create the landing pages that are appropriate for the visitor, you'll get the conversions we're looking for. So how do we convert? We offer someone on these landing pages a small piece of content. We call it the no risk offer. A white paper, a tip sheet, a guide, something where you could address someone's pains or problems and then offer them this piece of content in exchange for their contact information. That's the conversion or the exchange we're looking for. So how do we get this done in real life? Three easy tips. One, keep it focused. It should be a simple description. Don't write jargon. Don't write about your company. Write for response. What are the things that are going to make someone go, yes, this is exactly the piece of information I've been looking for? Number two, create a little bit of a sense of urgency when they get there. It might be like limited time offer on our 2016 buying guide, or it might be just a few seats left for our webinar series, but get them to act quickly because we want to grab them while they're at the landing page. And finally, you might want to provide a little bit of credibility or validation. Get one of your best customers to give you a testimonial and this is a great place to use it. Because if I see someone else in the same predicament that I'm in and needs help, well, I'm more apt to empathize with that and go forward with the conversion. Hey, at the end of the day, landing pages are all about tracking and testing. Set a few up, see how they perform, and then start to tweak them to get better response. With tools like HubSpot and Marketo, it should be easy in real time to see what's working and what's not. Hey, I hope I got you thinking differently about your sales and marketing. For more information like this, don't forget to check out square2marketing.com and we'll see you next week.